Okay, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use law of signs in the situation of what is known as the ambiguous case. Um, the ambiguous case is when we know side, side, angle. That means that we know two sides with a non-included angle. And if you remember from geometry, this is one of the two things that did not prove triangle congruence. And the reason why is because um, with side, side, angle, when you are given this, there are three possibilities that can happen. One is there can be no solution. Two is there can be only one triangle that satisfies the condition. Or three, there are two triangles that can be formed to satisfy the condition. So what we are given here is we are given that angle A is 58 degrees, little a is 4.5, so this is the side, and side B is 12.8. I'm going to draw a triangle. This is not going to be drawn to scale because I don't know what this triangle is going to look like. Okay, we only know one angle, and so I'm going to say that this is angle A, so this one's 58 degrees. So what matters with this, it doesn't matter where we put B and C. I'm going to put B up here and C over here. Okay, it doesn't matter where we put the angles. What matters is that the side opposite goes across from the angle. So like side A has to go across from angle A. So this would be 4.5. Side B has to go across from angle B, so B is 12.8. And then little c would go across from C. So we don't know if it'll work out until we actually start working with the problem. So what we're going to do in this case, I don't know angle B and I don't know angle C. So I'm going to start with angle B since I know the side opposite of it. So I'm going to try to find the sine of B over the opposite side is 12.8 is equal to the sine of A, which is 58 degrees, over the side opposite, which is 4.5. So now if I go through and solve this, I end up with sine B is equal to 12.8 times the sine of 58 divided by 4.5. And remember that the rule is that sine of any angle has to be less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to use this fact right now to see if we can find B. If we can, then we would do the inverse sine of that angle. So I'm going to grab my calculator, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the value. So I have 12.8 times sine of 58 divided by 4.5. Okay. And when I do that, I get approximately 2.412. So we end up with sine B is equal to or is approximately 2.412. Well, remember, I just said that in order for it to work, my sine has to be between 0 and 1. So since 2.412 is not between 0 and 1, This will not work. There is no solution. So there is no triangle that can be formed with the given information. So sometimes when you are given side, side, and then an angle that is not included between it, um, you can end up with there not being any solution. If I tried to plug into my calculator just to show you that it does give me a domain error, if I hit second sign and second of the answer, so it's plugging this value in, when I hit enter, it gives me an error. It says the domain, it does not work. So the value entered is not allowed in the function or command. So if you forget this rule, when you try to plug it into your calculator to solve for B by doing the inverse sign of this value, it's going to remind you that it doesn't work. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.